and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video we are starting a new series. I am really excited about this series. It is going to be full of amazing recipes. Let me tell you a little bit about it. My partner and I watch a lot of anime and if you've ever watched anime then you would know the food in anime looks the most appetizing of all TV. They just animate the food in a way that makes it jump off the screen and just makes you want to eat it. But a lot of times that food isn't vegan. So whenever we're really into a specific anime that has a lot of food in it, I start making all of the food in a vegan version and we just eat like veganized anime food all the time. And I wanted to share that with you guys. So I don't know exactly how consistent this series will be because all of the ideas are coming from animes that we watch, but today's recipe is sukiyaki and we are watching the new version of Fruits Baskets right now. This is one of the things that we pulled out of there that is so amazing and I'm super excited to share the recipe with you. It is a one pot dish so it's really easy and it's served family style so this is perfect for home family dinner. Before we get into today's recipe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a recipe or a video from me and hit the like on this video, it helps so, so much. Also, leave me a comment down below with a food from an anime that you want veganized and we can add that to this series. I am definitely probably going to go back through some of the animes that I've already watched and try and find dishes from those animes to make we also started Food Wars, so that will give lots and lots of recipes to this series. With that, let's get into the recipe. So the first thing I'm getting started here is making the dashi. I'm just boiling some water in my kettle and pouring that over a piece of kombu and a pinch of dulse flakes. This is how I make my vegan dashi. While that's steeping, I went ahead and cooked up my noodles. And the reason I'm doing it in this pan is because I don't want to make a ton of dishes, so I'm not going to use a separate pot. Once my noodles are cooked up, I added a little bit of sesame oil and toasted sesame oil to quickly fry up my tofu. When my tofu was starting to get golden brown, I added a little bit of soy sauce to the pan to give the tofu a little more flavor. I finished browning them and removed them from the pan and then went ahead and poured my dashi in. I was trying to hold the kombu back from falling into the pot and it fell anyway, so I just took it out after I poured it in. To that, I added soy sauce, marin, and sugar. This one pot dish is savory vegetables in a sweet broth. Then I started adding in all of my ingredients. I should have put the noodles in first because the mushrooms started floating all around. That was my mistake. I quickly added the noodles and cornered the mushrooms into one side of the pan. And I did this to place all the vegetables very pretty all around the pan. Typically this dish is cooked at the table on a burner and you have bowls of all the fresh vegetables around to be able to add more to the broth as you eat it. But I don't have a hot plate to cook at my table and I kind of know how much my partner and I can eat so I went ahead and made this whole thing on the stove and then served it in the pot at the table. popped a lid on it just to steam the veggies for a minute and voila done this picture is from the first time I made it because it turned out looking so much prettier I had a little too much broth in there the second time so they so the vegetables and noodles and stuff were kind of swimming but this is how it is supposed to look I also would have used Napa cabbage but they didn't have any at my grocery store and I already had purple cabbage on hand so that's what I used 
use up what you have. You can really put a lot of different kinds of veggies in this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you try it at home. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below with a dish from an anime that you would like veganized or you can just leave me a comment down below with your favorite anime because I'm always looking for more to watch. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. Drop a like on this video if you liked it and I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all!